Hello everybody, thank you for joining in for this video today and in this video we are going to be answering a 1 million dollar question well, a 1500 dollar question to be precise what kind of lens should you buy? a more cheaper lens or more pricier lens? well, let me tell you the most important thing first if you are a beginner and well, the, the first priority should be your budget because you don't know whether or not you will, you know, continue doing photography or videography or whatever. And uh, this might be your first and only lens. And uh, I think there's no point in spending thousands, hundreds, uh, extra hundreds and extra thousands on a lens. And uh, that's why you should be 100% going for the cheaper lens. So, the budget is your primary concern. Otherwise, uh, so for this video, I'm just going to be, you know, uh, comparing, sort of comparing uh, a cheaper lens and a pricier lens. So a cheaper lens for today is, uh, come on, focus, 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 yes. So this is the Samyang slash Rokinon slash whatever you want to call it, 85mm f1.4. f1.4 for $200, really cool. And uh, on the pricier side, we have a my super duper awesome uh, Sony f 470 to 200. So this is the $1,500 lens. So for all of you beginners, if uh, you have spare money and you are willing to spend uh, more money to buy a lens, a pricier lens, let me tell you what to expect from the pricier lens. Well, from the pricier lens, you should you should expect a really nice quality. But the thing is you won't be able to notice the difference in quality from this lens and from this lens because I don't know like all of the lenses that are being produced now and uh, it doesn't matter if it's Sony, Canon, Nikon, whatever so all of those lenses even kit lenses are made for you know for those who want to just pop this lens on your camera and go outside and shoot and uh, let me tell you that like for example I have the, this camera and this lens here. So this is the Sony A6300 with this kit lens. This is the 16 to 50 f3.5 to f5.6 and this is the kit lens and I'm sure it costs like maybe a hundred dollars or maybe 200. Oh, I don't know. This is the cheaper lens and uh, let me tell you this lens is awesome because this is so compact. This is this is like weight this is a super duper package for your know, travel photography and travel videos. And uh, well, obviously it has some drawbacks, like it's only f3.5 and uh, well f5.6 at the well at the 50 millimeter range, but well that's what you expect from a cheaper lens. Uh, otherwise, yes, if you if this is your first lens, first of all, consider your budget. Consider what things you will be shooting because well if some lens have like for example this lens $1500 lens has optical steady shot it has two modes of uh, like uh, tracking of like uh, autofocus uh, some uh, well some else bells and whistles and uh, well everything so consider some features that the price your lens has uh, do you really need it and uh, well, is it worth like extra thirteen hundred dollars, thirteen hundred dollars or not? And uh, well, if you are a tech junkie, if you are a, I don't know, a gear acquisition syndrome patient, so to say, uh, go ahead, go ahead and buy this super duper lens uh, because that's why I bought this uh, Sony lens actually. Uh, so the question of the day again: What should you buy? The cheaper one or the pricier one? My first answer is if you are a beginner go for the cheaper one like a hundred percent because the quality wise you won't you won't be able to notice the difference in quality between this lens and the pricier lens. Uh, so consider the features of the lens, consider the type of stuff you are going to be shooting, consider the you know if you are going to be continuing doing photography or videography so again the, this the first lens might be your last lens and that's why there is no point in spending more uh, uh, I don't know I think that's it 
actually. So, uh, I hope that my gibberish here was at least somewhat helpful. And, uh, well, thank you so much for watching. And leave a like and subscribe and all that jazz. And I will see you in my next video.